That one. I'm going to film this. Are we filming? Are you two are just taking a photo? Are you all in? Yeah. Say happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Friday. Yeah. We're sort of happy Friday. No, we can't have that. It looks like you're looking down my top hand, eh? I was looking. It probably, no, I've deleted it. I was looking at the camera. Honest. <laughs> Hello, 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 Get up! Happy Friday. For a change, we are in the quick. But also for a change, I'm driving. And I'm driving because of this one and this one. But that's no hardship. Could be worse. In the video this weekend, you will see us having a crack at smoking again. Not that, but with a barbecue. And we are going to be having a nice bit of... Beef, beef brisket. There you go. So we're going to have a crack at beef brisket. So we're smoking. Now, it's a bit disappointing this weekend, really, because Mad it was Maddie's, my Maddie's birthday on Tuesday just gone, and she was meant to be driving up today. We're going to Chinese for tea to celebrate her birthday, and I was meant to be smoking ribs tomorrow. But the weather's been that bad, she can't get here. So that's... Well, she's not going to risk it, is she? So. Well, she yeah, it's not worth risking it because when it rains here, it's really torrential and it's dangerous to drive in. So she's going to come not next weekend, but the weekend after instead. So the ribs that I've bought are going in the freezer. But while we were at the butcher's today, we actually saw brisket. So just by chance, we bought a big lump of that as well. So that's and what it is a big lump. It's three kilos worth. <laughs> so that's what we're having tomorrow for tea. Uh, my riffraff are going back tomorrow. And also in this video, we'll give you another update on his allotment my allotment which has had lots of rain and these are the tappers that they brought us these are gratis i think i hope well they usually are anyway so we've got boccaronis which are unsalted anchovies if you didn't know and they'll be on uh handmade i think locally locally made crisps usually very salted and that's mussels mechionis and there's a little bit there of crabstick salad Oh, and also she just what? brought us some croquettas. Oh, look how juicy that is. Big, plump, juicy mussel. Have a look at and they'll be, in like a, they'll be in like a sauce. That's huge. Is it nice? Yeah. Have a look on the website, uh, t.co.com. You'll be able to do a search on basically all the videos that we've done. So if you can look at Paella, it'll show you all the things to Paella. There's some useful links in there. There's some photos when we do things. Yeah, Check out Instagram as well, because Helen chucks stuff on Instagram regularly, and that's yeah. Brits living in yeah, Spain. But also, as a new thing that we can do, if you're wanting to come to the area, we've got some links for rental properties, yeah, for through, holiday rentals and things like that. Through Booking.com, it's, it's, it's a specific link on the website from Booking.com that will take you directly to this area for the rental properties that are available. And it doesn't cost you any more, but the channel will get a little bit of something from it. And likewise, and when we go to places, so you will see on the videos that we've done in the past, we're going to start adding this. For instance, things such as when we've been to Cuenca, the things that we did in Cuenca, look at the Cuenca video, look at the description, you will see the link uh, to take you through so you can book the tourist train that we did. And also there's some other things that we didn't do that we didn't know about, like a nighttime tour around the yeah. cathedral that's also on there which is through get your guide, get your guide. and again it costs you no more yeah, but we'll we, get a little bit of something we've from actually it. used get your guide quite a lot in the past when we've been booking different things for example when we did um the alhambra in granada we did it using get your guide and usually generally speaking the prices through get your guide are really reasonable and i've not had any bad experiences and when we go to thailand i've booked several trips and all but one are booked through Get Your Guide. The other one's booked through Hidden Bangkok. Tell me about your new website that you found. Everybody already knows this website and everybody's been ordering off it for a year. Recently, I've ordered quite a few clothes off of, I don't know how you pronounce it, Sheen, Shine. What I like about it is it's free delivery and I'm not sure about in the UK, but here in Spain, when you order off of different clothes websites, quite often you have to pay to send things back. For example, Next, I've ordered off Next. When they don't fit, because they very rarely fit me, I have to send them back and it costs me like 30 or 40 euros to post things back. Sheen's free returns and just about everything that I've ordered off there has fit me perfectly. It's that from me. And they're cheap. 
and also they give you discount vouchers so every when I've ordered they, it'll say like you've got 20% off your order if you spell, spend more than 50 euros well of course I'm spending more than 50 euros so I get 20% off which is a great saving we're not affiliates with Sheen so I won't get paid anything but it is a great <laughs> website as far as I'm concerned and by the way stitches are out uh, results in two months today's Hello. Saturday hi Hello. You've got Hola. Plaster off. Hola. Yeah, I'm not plastered anymore. Hey. Yay. <laughs> uh, Helen's already done the rub for the beef I did it brisket. last night after we'd been to the in, uh, Chinese. We didn't go to Indian. No. Yes, and actually... <laughs> oh, sorry. Me and Francesca did Thank it last you. night. The rub is very, very, very similar to what was done on the... The ribs. Ribs, I believe. It smells great. There's about three kilos of beef brisket there, which in Spanish is called... Falda, which is, is beef skirt. So in English, we would call it skirt. And seeing as the quality seems to be improving on the videos, on the output, I need something to be able to watch some at said quality on, on my TV. So we're going shopping for a new TV. Not for me, yeah, I've got a good TV. She's, yeah, Helen's got a good one. He's um, got a good one. Uh, I've just sold mine. We have got a severe weather warning today, but <laughs> like good, true to life Brits, we're lighting the barbecue. Now, it looks dirty again, this barbecue, but it's not dirty. It's because it's rained and rained. And here in Spain, it's always dirty rain. I bought these. So I don't like fire lighters on the barbecue. I think it makes your food taste. So these are like organic natural. natural. But we only want a little bit of uh, charcoal in this side so that this side has got no flame underneath so it. So no indirect heat. It's just heat the heat it. from here that actually cooks the beef at a really low temperature. And then we put the wood chips on to create a lot of smoke. To try and light it, as we understand it, it's a bit of that. And, and down also here, a, yeah, that's a, open on full. And that'll draw the air, air that through. way and that way. It's just the right temperature. It's just under 250 degrees. Sorry, 150 degrees. It's just gone down a little bit since I've opened it. It's nowhere near done, obviously. It's been in for about an hour. Yeah, so we'll just put them on for now. I see the smoke coming off them already. And I'm gonna shut that. And shut that. There. And we'll see what that's like in a little while. We're at Bob's allotment area. Cue the music. If any of you guys, that look, guys and gals, ladies and gents, live local, have got any big paint tubs, empty paint tubs, or any buckets that you don't want anymore, or any plant pots, doesn't matter even if they're this sort of size plant pots or bigger, and you don't want them, just give us a shout, drop us a message, and we'll 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 come and get them because. He's always needing more. Yeah, and he's putting, a, he's using any paint pots and everything, aren't you? Well, look, even reutilizing <coughs> cat litter trays that the top's broken, wasn't being utilized, so cleaned it out, filled it with soil, and Bob's oh, your you uncle, is your aunt. Bob's your gardener. But yeah, Bob's your gardener. What's that? Got bone meal and blood meal. Blood meal, yeah. The bone meal's to, to add calcium to, to plants and feed them, while the, the blood meal is food. So you've sort of going seedlings now? So I've got I've got some seedlings in, some parsnips oh, that, now, that um, arrived. Yeah, Andy's mum and sister brought these seeds with them. Ah, yeah, from uh, from, from Wilco's yeah. from the UK. They were cheap and uh, as well as the parsnip and the broccoli, it's and that's purple, purple sprouting, sprouting, isn't it? Broccoli, it is. Yeah. There's also Very purple sprouting. <laughs> there is also money maker tomatoes. Money maker yes. tomatoes, which are which, which, which are the would be great tall. If you look back, you'll remember we said about determinate and indeterminate, and that'll make sense to what we're on about. Are these onions? These are these are the onions that I bought. They've, 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 they've all picked up. Well, are they normal onions? onions or oh, these, these are, are the normal. ones from these Cuenca. Are, these are, these are from onions. Cuenca, yeah. These are these are some of the lettuce. Oh right, okay, yeah. Right. I, I, I did receive some some carrot seeds so how many so my carrots is how many up. seeds did you put in uh, only a handful only a few hundred mm, few hundred a few yeah but uh, you do but you, you, but you thin them out carrots. you thin them out yeah you do get quite a lot of carrots on them um, iceberg one, lettuce look the two there's two at the moment coming up and they're butterhead lettuce when when they come eventually come through nothing there yet. two different ones we still don't know what that we still don't is. know what that is don't know what that is they're beetroot so look that, hang on 
cucumber. Oh, Cucumbers. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was coming round. No, I was going that way. Well, sorry. they're definitely not beetroots if they're beetroots, because look at the leaves are different. Well, the di well, there's different plants. In fact, there's two different things in there because there's two one there that's green. Look, it yeah. might be one of them. Uh, these these I shall be getting ready for transplanting soon because look, they've got the they've got the main leaves coming. So we can do put one of them in like one of them for the next next phase sort of thing. Yeah, and then I shall then I shall upgrade them into a, a bigger pot okay. as the bigger pots become available. Uh, and that's same with the beetroots. Now, what I'm what I intend doing with with the beetroots and with the leeks is in these big pots, I've got one plant. I, what what I've done is I've transplanted today uh, some jalapenos, and because there's plenty of room in the in the plant pot because the big plant pots to to grow big jalapeno plants, I shall have around the around the base. Some beetroot and or and some leeks. Some like, okay. some like, like root vegetable yeah, types. Some, look some at this. What I've noticed. Some of the Thai only basil's coming through. Two of them. Yeah. Look. There's two. Padka prow. Right. Oh, so <laughs> in here. Hi Finn. Shift out Finn again. Because this is a nice deep planter. And this is something that was bought for Jessica a few years back, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, because she like wanted to do some gardening. I've got carrots in. Now. As a, as, a, as a protection yeah. for the carrots, I've got onions in because onions and carrots deter carrot fly and onion fly. Yeah, I remember yeah? saying that last month, last week, last episode, last video. So I've got normal onions from, from Cuenca, my Cuenca onions. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Are they spring onions in the middle? And they're spring onions oh, in right, the middle. Okay. So these are, these are tomatoes that I've, I've grown from seed. Did we get those? Is they, are they seeds that we got out of the tomatoes that we were eating, yes. these ones? So, yes, yeah. Oh, so right, okay, probably, so. Probably recycled these. Now, they may come good or they may not come good. Well, they've got lots of well, tomatoes on them. The thing is, you can never tell when you just take seeds out of a, out of a tomato whether, it, whether the, t the a tomato was a, an F1 seed, an F1 plant, or a, or a normal plant. That means no to me. Well, F1s. You can't regrow them from the seeds. But these obviously you but, can. Well, we'll see how the fruit turns out. They look like raffa tomatoes to me. Yes, look. They, they do look like the raffa tomatoes. Well, that's don't what they? I was thinking look, when I saw yeah. that one there. That one's got a little grub hole in it, but yeah. they do look like raffa tomatoes, which are really tasty <coughs> and expensive yeah. to yes. buy. Just talking about the buckets, which which you were a little while ago. These are the type of buckets that that that. Are perfect for, for growing things in and sometimes they're what you use for um for the pores yes. yeah the um chlorine, yeah, chlorine yeah. for the pores, but, chlorine but, tablets but they're, they're, these are a perfect size yeah, so if anybody's local to la siesta and we'll pick them up yeah so what i've done i've drilled the bottom i've drilled the basis for for, for drainage and I, I've drilled the. Uh, I've got. I've got some tops. So I've drilled the tops, and what I intend doing with these is cutting them in half. So he's got double. So the I've amount got of double the in. amount. Yeah. Yeah. So all I shall do is I'll, I'll just cut them, turn them upside down with them, and put the lids to the bottom. Yeah. And then put my compost in, yeah. put my plants in, and away I go. A bit of duct tape around that'll probably help the lids stay on the. Um, I don't, don't, think the don't, don't need will come it. Anyway. Don't need it when it's when it's. Yeah. yeah. When it's sat on Brussels sprouts. Oh my God! These they're these, huge. Yes, they could yeah, be. They're gonna, they'll they come, come right up here. No, but well, they, they filled. Now I understand yes. why you wanted the big, big yes. ones. Yes, but also in there I've got me some Cuenca onions. Oh, right, okay, yeah. That 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 they might, they might make good. They might make, not make a lot, but they're in and they're, and they're growing. You well. see, what I really love is I don't know if any of you have tried it or not, but the actual top of the Brussels plant is delicious to eat. So you have it like as if you were having cabbage, wouldn't you? Ginger. But that's ginger. Ooh. That was it. That was in the plant around the corner. And look, I've got it in a, in a, a nice little tub. There's another shoe coming through at the side there, of it there. there is, so how do you know when to get that? Because it's the ginger root that you have, isn't it? You just get the ginger root. It, the ginger root's got got like a tater. They've got eyes, and you just. Put it, put them in the into the uh, compost with the eyes upwards. But how do you know when it's ready to kick? When, when, when the top dies off. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, same, that's same, what I was getting to. Yeah. The same as with anything. When the tops die off, so, it's ready to pick. The, these are these are taters that I put it look in little in the in the buckets. Now, this is this is the first level, and if you look, 
the taters are just starting to sprout. Okay. Right? When they get up to here, I shall top them up with compost. Right. That's that's where that's where they grow the tater. Yeah. And then I shall keep them topped up till about two inches of the of the top. Oh. Yeah, look, we've got a potato there, look. And these have come from potatoes that we've actually we had got eyes growing on them that you chopped up, didn't we? And yeah. planted the bits of potato with the eyes yeah. on. Are you hungry yet? So chives, I've already chopped these down once and we had them the other day. These are these onions here, the, the big ones, at the beginning of the year, we chopped the bottom off some onions and I put them in, in the top of a, of a plastic bottle and the roots grew and, I, and I've planted the roots and look how they've yeah. come in. These are the spring onions. <clears throat> All right, cool, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have them soon. These look like beef tomatoes. Yeah, they, they do look a bit, don't they? They're they, 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 they nice tasting they, they tomatoes. They taste beautiful. Right. These are more like plum tomatoes. These are plum tomatoes. These are jalapenos. All right, okay, and right. lettuce. And I've just, I've just, yesterday and today, transplanted these, or transplanted them from smaller tubs. So yeah. they should, they What's should that? Grow quicker now. That's, that's a jalapeno okay. as well. Green beans. beans. Green beans. And you can see yeah, them there. We've got half a dozen beans. These are all cherry tomatoes, again, that I've grown from seed. Basil, which we've been eating on our dinner, on our wraps. Lots of it, different basil, parsley, parsley. and squash. And, and there are squashes, but yeah, look. And that is one of the butternut squash. Okay, so I've, I've gone through everything that, I, that I've said, but if there's anything that you find, or that you, you think I'm doing wrong, or you've got, got any questions or any, any uh, information that you would like to pass to me, please don't hesitate. Put it in the link below. Tips. Tips. Yeah. <laughs> and comments. And comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I've just had to put a bit more uh, charcoal on it because it's losing its temperature. So I've spread it out a little bit and put a bit more on. But it's, you can see it's not done yet, but it's still got juice coming out of it there. In there is, I know it said money. Look at, yeah. Honey, butter, whole grain mustard, bit of chipotle sauce. Is it chipotle or chipotle? How do they say it? Oh, it could be chipotle, I don't know. Chipotle, something like that. Anyway, it's well, Whatever it that's is. That's a smoky kind of yeah. chilli sauce, isn't it? Yeah. And, and I'm going to go and paint it on the beef. So that's a marinade, basically, isn't it? Yeah. As opposed to a dry one. But it's, all, it's already um, well on the way to cooking. Actually. We do save that and put some more on later. Yeah. yeah. Don't burn this. Oh. Is it hot? Mm, uh, well, it is hot, but not. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's a good job we turned it up because that does need a little bit yeah. of. Um... Oh. Mm mm. We're making my version of Dauphinoise potatoes, which are nothing like Gordon Ramsay's or Jamie Oliver's or anybody else, because they say you're supposed to boil your cream with a clove of garlic in it, remove the clove of garlic, boil your potato slices in that cream, blah de blah de blah. We don't do that. We don't. So what I've done, I have peeled the potatoes and I've sliced them on the mandolin part of a cheese grater, and also I sliced my hand. And then I've got some finely sliced onion, and what I'll do is I'll do a layer of potato, a little bit of onion on it, ground, uh, ground pepper, ground salt, a little tiny sprinkle of cheese, and some cream. And I'll keep doing that in layers until I fill the dish, and then I'll bake it. It does take quite a long time to bake it. It's not a quick thing, so you might think it's going to take half an hour, your potatoes will still be hard, even though they've sliced really, really thinly. So we'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. I might show you a little bit halfway through as well, but there we go. There are the Duffing Wars potatoes ready to go in the oven. It's awful. And we've got the barbecue on, so I'm going to let me dad <coughs> have the GoPro. The weather is absolutely stinking. Oh, look at juice coming out of that. That looks Ooh, absolutely look that. stunning. That is beautiful. 
and it looks as tender as can and be. And it smells. I wish we'd got smell vision because, oh, look at the weather. It smells great. Yes. Huh. There we go. So that's, that's it. For now. I've walked back in the house and it smells absolutely. I worked quick enough to get video. Do I film those potatoes? Yeah. How big is that? I mean, look at that compared to the size of Helen. There we go. How big? Look at the juice on that. And you can see the smoke ring as well. Smoke proper come soon, doesn't it? Mm -hmm.